Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about natural sweeteners. Now, you've hopefully watched the video about artificial sweeteners and I'm very, very clear on the fact that I believe that you should not give your children artificial sweeteners. Now, in the last few years, a number of products have come on the market that are known as natural sweeteners and I'm going to talk to you today about the research that I have done on them and what I have chosen for my own freedom game. Before I begin, I just want to say that um, I am learning a lot about nutrition. I am not a qualified nutritionist and it's a very confusing area, okay? The amount of people out there who think that their way for uh, f uh, uh, their way for achieving optimum health and weight loss and everything is the only way is loads of people it's just there's lots of people out there trying to sell you their own system and their own ideas and normally that's not such a problem because we can say okay well my body will tell me if something is good for me so for example um, if your child has a problem with sugar and you reduce the sugar you will probably notice a difference in their behavior and even if you don't notice a different in difference in their behavior we all know that excess sugar is not good for them for their lifelong health and it's something that everyone agrees on but when it comes to sweeteners it's a bit more confusing because the worry around sweeteners is about long-term health effects so you can't know that you just have to try and research it so the research is confusing i haven't got a definitive answer for you but i will tell you what i've done you really need to research this yourself and you need to take responsibility for what you are giving your children um, my watchword is caution okay and i'll explain why as we go along so the first sweet natural sweetener i want to talk about is stevia and if you're in the uk you will have seen this maybe in a brand called Truvia and another brand I've heard of is called Purevia although I've never seen that here in the UK. Um, now stevia is a leaf and I've heard people, nutritionists say, you know just in conversation, yeah that's great I would use the leaf and the, the powdered form of the leaf. I've never heard anybody say that the processed form of stevia in the form of Truvia uh, is, is, is a good idea. So I'm definitely staying away from Truvia because you don't know. In uh, 2008, the, in the US, the Federal Drugs Administration gave it approval. Um, but in the past, studies have linked stevia to liver mutations, fertility problems and disruption in energy metabolism. Now these, these studies were based on a very high intake. So if, if my feeling is if somebody, I went to someone's house and stuff, I've made this cake or, or something like this with a stevia, the leaf, and it's not very processed. Um, would you like some? I would let my children have that. Um, but I, I wouldn't go and buy Truvia, for example. Um, that This information I've just given you is from the website from the Institute of Natural Healing. And they say that light to moderate use is okay. So I'll leave that one to you. Um, EmpoweredSustenance.com does not like stevia. It says it taxes the adrenals and it gets the body ready to deal with glucose, which never comes. Um, and people are affected differently by it. So there you go, some good if it's natural in a leaf or the powdered form and then there's quite a bit of anti-research there. Um, next one is xylitol. Now, xylitol I haven't, I found a few people say that they would use it. Um, what I found here in a website called the Healthy Home Economist says that while it's true that xylitol is a naturally occurring substance, manufactured xylitol is another matter completely because it uses sugar hydrogenation, uh, which uses powdered a powdered nickel aluminium alloy. So there's a worry there about having the toxicity from metals in, 
in our diet. And it says, while there's currently no literature on the detrimental health effects of consuming hydrogenated sugar, it's important to note that hydrogenated fats and oils were used for many years before the very damaging effects to health became widely known. So this website does not like xylitol. So do some more research on it yourself. And now <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I will be using in the um, freedom game with my kids. And it's this, it's called Buckwood Maple Syrup. That's B-U-C-K-W-D. I got this from Holland and Barrett here in the UK and it cost about £4.50. Now, why have I chosen this? Um, because the the production the production method is is it doesn't use a great deal of processing it says here that basically when they discovered it they discovered it because they pierced the bark of the maple tree and a liquid trickled out and they tapped the reeds using they tapped the trees using reed funnels and out it came and it says not much has changed in the way maple syrup is produced today from tree to table now this is a very good piece of marketing. It looks very natural and the copy on the back is well written and it sounds all gorgeous and back to nature. But I chose this not because of that, because anybody can claim anything about their product if they put it in the right way, but because it was recommended to me. And so I am cautiously gonna give this a try. I am going to use it within recipes. I am not going to leave this out for my children to drizzle over fruit or anything like that. I'm only going to use a little bit of it and, and the amount I'm going to use, basically that's probably going to last me a year, I should imagine. Um, and I'm only going to be using it in a recipes where there is fruit, where there is nuts. So basically substances to counteract any possible blood sugar rush. I don't know the GI of this. I don't know how much it would affect your blood sugar. So that's my cautious choice for the freedom game and I will do some more research on it. So there you go, natural sweeteners. It's quite confusing. Do the research, uh, just be cautious and go for the least processed form of natural sweetener that you find. Thanks.